What is happening everybody? Hello and welcome back to Total Blast where we discuss about everything Marvel in the MC. The Marvel Cinematic Universe is a well-oiled machine with films and television series planned for years in advance and meticulously coordinated to build upon previous work and prepare the way for the future. However, the WGA work stoppage isn't exactly a modest obstacle in the best of circumstances, which is the problem with the setup because even the smallest issue may completely derail such a machine. However, if you're unaware, the Writers Guild America recently entered a strike after failing to reach an agreement with the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers. Similarly, the Guild has made several demands such as raising the salary and residuals, including the pay and residuals received for shows on streaming platforms and AI regulations. And we've had a lot of industry insiders weigh in on this, and most recently being Alex Perez from the Cosmic Circus, who is a reputable insider with a good track record. And today, we're going to be talking about what he said and what the strike means for Marvel Studios moving forward, as well as movies on the MCU that have been postponed or will be postponed. But before we get into all of the teeth beats, guys, we're still giving out a brand new PlayStation 5 on this channel to one lucky subscriber. More on how to win at the end of this video. And if this is your first time, Please subscribe and enable the post notifications so you don't miss out on subsequent videos. And now, Alex Perez of the Cosmic Circus tweeted saying, and I quote, I can only speak to what I know about Marvel. They are getting up for a slate update bigger than last year, currently slated for SDCC. If the WGA strike continues, as you should until they get what they ask, Marvel will find another way to move forward with their announcement. End of quote. Meanwhile, replying to Alex Perez from Cosmic Circus, someone commented saying, I wouldn't count on any studio attending SDCC this year if the writer's strike is still on. Since the Screen Actors Guild and possibly the Director's Guild would likely join the writers, then their contracts are up until the end of June. End of quote. So, if Kevin Feige plans to go up on stage come Comic Con this year, I wonder how he's going to do that because it's going to be nothing short of difficulty and drab. Because as a result of the strike, numerous TV and film productions may be altered, and some have already been altered. The strike has also influenced Marvel Studios. According to The Hollywood Reporter, Marvel Studios had halted production on Blade Film, which was set to begin filming last year in Atlanta and star Marasha Harley. This would be the first major film to be impacted by the strike. And last week, Marvel's Blade was put on hold since the screenplay hasn't been finalized before the strike began, leaving the movie, which is supposed to begin filming in Atlanta in June 2023, without a final script to work from. The film's journey to the screenplay has been anything but smooth. This setback could push the film's release back date even more, negatively harming its performance. That will not be the only Marvel project to be affected by the strike. The strike is expected to have an impact on several Marvel projects that are presently in production and are in the planning stages. Captain America New World Order, Agatha Coven of Chaos, Daredevil Born Again and Wonder Man are all presently in production and could be altered if previous script needs to be revised. According to Marvel sources, that will not be the case with pre-scheduled reshoot taking care of any issues. However, this assumes that the strike will be over before the reshoot takes place, which may not be the case. Furthermore, as the Daredevil and Wonder Man indicate shows, picket lines and people's unwillingness to cross might even pose additional complications. Furthermore, Deadpool 3 is set to begin production in late May, with Thunderbolt set to begin production in June. The latter is another film that recently changed authors, with Biff's Lee Song Jin entering the project in late March to rewrite the entire script. And that begs the question, was that revision completed before the WGA work stoppage started? Beyond the already scheduled Secret Invasion, there is Echo, Ironheart and the second season of Loki, all of which are completed production and are in various stages of near completion, also scheduled as part of Phase 5 of the MCU is Agatha Coven of Chaos and Daredevil Born Again, with the latter already feeling the effect of the MCU. To put it frankly, what this means for Marvel depends on how long the strike will last, but it will be controlled in the end, because the latter is significantly more serious. Kang, the time-traveling villain, may have to wait a little longer than he had thought because he had to put his plan into action. The Secret Invasion series is coming to Disney+, Plus, as it's a second season of Loki. Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3 is now in theaters, and the Marvels will be released later in theaters this year. Furthermore, there are additional films and television projects in the works, some of which are already in production. On comic basis, we've already covered the probable casting and new writers added to the production of the Fantastic Four, and it appears that the project will be a crucial part of Phase 6 of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and it will continue to develop without major difficulties. However, given that writers were expected to continue working on the script and begin filming in January 2024, WGA Strike does not bode well for Marvel Studios. If the WGA Strike continues, there's a strong likelihood that the Fantastic Four shoot may be rescheduled, thus delaying the film's production and release. 
Kevin Feige wants this film to be the best in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but we may have to wait a little longer for the movie to be created. Additionally, the Kang Dynasty, also known as Avengers 5, has had enough challenges in its growth and future since Jonathan Major's recent run-ins with the police, which led to report of probable recasting of the vital role of the MCU's future. However, the WGA strike would only make matters worse for Kevin Feige and Marvel Studios, who are counting on this film to be the largest following Avengers Endgame. And if this film is delayed any further, the rest of Phase 6 will see major shadows shift, which is bad news for the MCU. And of course, despite being delayed, the 6th Avengers film Avengers Secret Wars is in peril in terms of shadow and development, despite being much later than the rest of the MCU project. There are still concerns. And if we include every single project released before these two large Avengers movies, which are supposed to represent the pinnacle of each new MCU phase, then reschedule and delays like Thanos are unavoidable. This is all we know about the project, but it's worth mentioning in this context. Thunderbolt have experienced some disheartening concerns in recent months. Lee Sun Jin, the creator of Netflix Beats, was revealed in March as the film's writer replacing Eric Person. In the case of Echo TV series, today's speculation confirms that DV Plus show will premiere at the end of 2023 as planned. Daredevil Born Again is currently in production and will remain so until November of 2023. Additionally, there are other preparations for his second season of Daredevil Born Again and it appears that the showrunners will have to wait for it. Moreover, Marvel Cinematic Universe projects are renowned for rewriting screenplays and creating non-scripted elements in the final result. Scenes in Black Widow and even Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3 were not planned, but they were added to the films. This means that the WGA strike will prevent writers from altering script in the middle of a shoot as Marvel Studios has done so for years despite low quality of the same production. It appears that releasing MCU projects every six months is no longer feasible and it appears that the strike may be a blessing in disguise for the future of several projects. There is currently no timetable for how long the strike will remain or when it will finish but we anticipate that if it continues it will postpone more Marvel and DC projects. Agatha Coven of Chaos has been put back several times but production began in January of 2023. However, knowing Marvel Studios and their timetable, it appears the Hackett's Agnes program will be pushed back once more if the WGA does not reach an agreement with Hollywood production companies. Wonder Man began production in April of 2023, which is great, but given the history of rewriters during the development of major projects, it appears that Wonder Man may be delayed, but we'll have to wait and see what happens next. Wonder Man has not yet been planned, but it's expected to be included in Phase 6. And as previously stated, Secret Invasion TV series will premiere in June, while Loki Season 2 has been pushed back from September to October. Some fans assumed that it was due to troubles with Jonathan Majors. However, Marvel Studios acknowledged that the release date has been moved owing to the storyline issues. And now, it appears that Marvel Studios requires more time to fix something by editing more portions of the show, which is typical of these productions. Kang will not be replaced. Thus, we will see Jonathan Majors as Kang in Loki Season 2, but his future in the MCU remains uncertain. Hollywood writers and workers' well-being may be the catalyst for the improvement of quality of films that we watch. And at this point, aside from Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3, Marvel needs high-quality content to advance the Marvel Cinematic Universe and engage their audiences if they hope for subsequent phases to be successful. And with that said, let's head over right to our giveaways, as we're still giving out a brand new PlayStation 5 on this channel to one lucky subscriber once we hit a milestone of a thousand subscribers. And all you have to do to win is watch our videos, subscribe, turn on post notifications, like, and comment. And one lucky subscriber will be chosen from the comment section to win our brand new PlayStation 5. Also, I want to say thank you to everyone who has ever supported us this far. We truly appreciate it. What are your thoughts on this video? Do you think that Marvel and Kevin Feige are making the right decision if they decide to go through with Comic-Con? Please, don't forget to like this video and share your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Subscribe and turn on the post notifications so you don't miss out on any of our latest Marvel news. Thank you so much for watching and as always, I hope to see you in the next one!